Hello, and welcome back to Guns and Barbecue. Today, we're going to be looking at what I like to call a rainy day gun. This gun is going to be my GP100 Ruger 6 shot with a 6 inch barrel stainless steel. Now there are some rules to a rainy day gun. One, it has to be bought at a very good price. That way, if you find yourself in a financially difficult situation and you have to sell a firearm, which would be the rainy day gun, then you should be able to break even or take a minimal loss on that firearm. Another caveat to that is whatever your rainy day gun is, don't have it be something that's rare. Something like a G GP100 Ruger isn't all that rare. There's plenty of them made, so when things are looking up again, you can hopefully go buy another one. Also, another fun fact about a rainy day gun, it is a great excuse to try and get out of trouble with your spouse when you have bought a new firearm. The reason being is you can say, hey, do you remember that time that we were in a big pinch and I had to sell one of my guns to, you know, pay this bill, pay that bill, you know, maybe keep the car from getting repoed, who knows what. Either way, when you remind them of that, you can say, I lost a lot of money on that gun that I had to sell. This one I got at such a great deal, if I have to sell it, I shouldn't lose any money on it, but if I do, it'll be very negligible. In my experience, this gets me a roll of the eyes, but approval nonetheless. So now I will share my rainy day experience. It was almost two years ago, not quite to the day. Um, I had got put off work because I was having a lot of problems with my vision, and I was told that I had a condition called hydrocephalus, and I would need brain surgery. Had the first brain surgery, and they said everything went well, then... They got me a couple of CAT scans and it showed that they had actually placed the shunt too far inside of the ventricle and so it wasn't actually draining any of the fluid off of my brain. And between the first surgery and the second surgery is when I lost my vision. My vision literally went from me being able to drive and live a perfectly normal life to having what the doctors called finger vision at five feet in a matter of seven days. It was very rapid, very drastic. If any of you have watched my first video called Mission Statement, um, you will know that my vision is now at one foot or less finger vision. So, from what the doctors have told me, there's a chance I could lose all vision, but at this point, I'm thankful for what I have. Anyways, to get back on topic, sorry, I ran out of pictures of my GP100, so I just inserted some other random stuff, such as barbecue, maybe one or two of myself, a couple of other random guns. So, as I said, I was off work. I was watching... There's an oxymoron for you, a blind guy watching something. Anyways, hope that gave you a laugh. I'm watching my savings slowly dwindle. I had short-term and long-term disability insurance through my employer, but for those of you that have never used it, it sometimes takes a month or two before it kicks in. Kind of like this whole stimulus thing that people are trying to receive still. So as I'm watching my savings dwindle, I'm starting to go, all right, well, I've got car payments, I've got lot rent to pay I live in a trailer don't knock me for it it's cheap it's affordable it's dry keeps the roof over my kids head it works plus it allows me to have a lot more money for buying things that go bang and in case you were wondering yes that was me with a cow suckling on my hand I promise I'll try and stop getting distracted now so I'm watching my savings dwindle and it was becoming apparent that my GP100 and possibly some other firearms might have to go on the shopping block. I was fortunate enough to avoid this, but nonetheless, I had the option if needed. I hope this was a entertaining video, uh, perhaps gave you some food for thoughts. Maybe the next time that you're at your local gun shop and you find a gun that is just an incredible deal you'll just pick it up for this reason 
it's not a bad thing to do and hey if you never have to get rid of it well you got another gun in the collection just a little friendly note here at the end for anybody that's turn, tuning in for barbecue videos I do apologize that there's only been one I was going to try and make this channel 50-50 but it's going to definitely be more firearms related with some barbecue thrown in here and there thing is I live by myself so making all that barbecue all the time um, and I only have my kids 50% of the time is going to make for a lot of waste so I will pump them out as I can Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you hit like, share, and subscribe. And can't wait to see you back. Thanks.